He appears to be getting used to being center of attention, and this week will be no different for U.S. President Donald Trump. His statement so far putting the Fed, Bank of England, and other central banks in wait-and-see mode. A rise in protectionist trade policies is now deemed to be the biggest risk facing the global economy, according to a Reuters poll. Trade uh, frictions and barriers are generally considered in macroeconomic terms to be uh, detrimental. So clearly any rowing back on trade deals, whether they're bilateral or otherwise, uh, could be uh, seen as uh, a negative for the trade picture. Last month, the Fed added 25 basis points to borrowing costs, only its second rate hike since the Great Recession and a year since the first one. At the time, policymakers signalled as many as three increases in 2017, but no hike is expected on Wednesday, with rates remaining unchanged until the second quarter. In Europe, flash data is expected to show Eurozone inflation rising to 1.5% this month, still away from the ECB's target, although Germany is expected to rise to 2%. A slowdown in growth in Britain's service sector and among its manufacturers during January is also expected. The country's been experiencing robust growth as consumers brush off warnings over Brexit. But economists have warned booming inflation and uncertainty around the terms of Britain's divorce from the EU could curtail growth rates this year. The BOE will publish its quarterly inflation report at its policy meeting, and the Bank of Japan and Central Bank of Russia all have decisions. None are expected to move. China continues celebrating its Lunar New Year, so there'll be little news from the world's second largest economy.